What's going on, <laughs> everybody? We're out here with the fish slayer, the fish eater, and the fish observer, Kimber. <laughs> So today is opening season of groupers and hogfish here in South Florida and it's going to be my first time going out and targeting these species. Uh, I've done it once in the Bahamas before but I've never done it in Florida so it's super exciting for me. We're going to explore some new area today as well as go back on some old spots as well and we're going to chum up a bit with that special chum that I made and we're going to see whatever swims up and we're going to shoot in the face. Let's go. Welcome to another fishing adventures of Judah and Kimber Clark. We're talking about May 1st time of the year that everyone in Florida looks forward to finally being able to shoot those grouper and hogfish that have been taunting us for months. I mean taunting us. It's like it's like they almost know that you can't shoot them. They'll just be everywhere. One time I was diving with Kelly and this black grouper just swam right up to her. Wanted to shoot that fish so bad but obviously I didn't. Would be against the law. And we came back to that spot at the opening day and guess what, wouldn't you know, there was no grouper to be found. Right, Kimber? So, you know, we gave it our all. We were going out there in full force, wanted to catch a big old black right on, on May 1st. Big old hog, maybe a black. All right, drop it. making some chum balls where I mix up some sand and chum and I've got these frozen dividers in the cooler to keep it all cool. We were making balls and dropping them down into the water. These chum balls when they go down they sink right to the bottom they break apart all the little fish come in brings the big old grouper out of the holes. picked a spot out on our chart. Uh, it's like a nice little rocky, ledgy area. We went ahead and threw some chum balls down already, and uh, we'll see what shows up at this spot. Right there. Okay. I think it might be a grouper. Okay. I'm going. I'm going for Yet, but there's a lot of bait fish, a lot of structure. Cool looking. Yeah, 
that's cool. And even though we weren't finding what we were looking for, the scenery was just amazing. Yeah, it is. So we were riding around hitting spot after spot trying to find that grouper and we just weren't coming across it. And finally, after hitting spot after spot, I came across a nice little 20 inch grouper on a wreck and I put a shot in it. fish that we were looking for, but at least we were going to have a grouper sandwich on day one. We were giving it our all. Kelly goes down, puts a really nice shot on a trigger fish. And we love trigger fish. The skin on them is really hard, but the meat is absolutely delicious. So that was the score in our book. I'm going to shoot another trigger. So we decided to move out to some deeper wrecks. Maybe the fish are held out a little deeper. They're trying to hit some shallower stuff. And uh, all of a sudden, this massive permit comes up on me. And I place a shot right where I wanted it. Biggest permit I've ever seen in my life. And this thing took off. The power on these fish is amazing. It's actually the biggest permit that I've ever shot in my life. PB permit, personal best. Kimber, look at that. There you go. <laughs> well, I feel better about today. <laughs> Look at that beaut. <laughs> you know, Kimber eats a lot of permit. Permit and barracuda. Wait, wait, wait. Right wait. Sunset. wait, wait, hold up my stunt. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you there's lots of blacks down there somewhere. So day one of grouper and hog season didn't go quite as planned, but we still shot some fish. Right at sunset. Look at that. That's all we got. One little 20 inch red. And uh, well, we got two triggers. And uh, my excuse is going to be that we didn't get going until one o'clock for that. So it wasn't all that bad, but it definitely wasn't the big old black that I was hoping for. But it was a good time, you know. Even though you don't get the fish that you're going for, you still have a good time. And if at least you still get a couple of fish that put some meat on the table, then really nothing to complain about. I mean, it was, it was fun. Kelly's first taste of red grouper. And how is it? Pretty good. Somebody knows it's good. <laughs> we did get my personal best permit. Woo! <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
way and through his nostrils. Alright, so we got my personal PB permit. You're gonna see uh, me strain for a minute as I weigh the sucker. Oh. I'll slot dilly dally around. 36. 36? 35? 35.7. Oh. 35.7 pounds. So I was happy to uh, have that success, but it still wasn't the grouper that we were going for.